we're trying to score points uh, as much as possible. So we try to get up and down. And, um, and it just unfortunately, um, they, did, they had a good game plan. And you know, we missed some shots. And I think when we were missing shots, it became a grind for us. Uh, a little bit harder to get through possessions. And uh, when that happened, it um, makes for a tough game. You know, I say all the time, you know, were they at 46, 48 for total? 46. And they scored 46 points, you have to win that game. And unfortunately, we didn't do the things to win it. Offensive rebounds, we didn't do. Um, uh, running in transition and getting easy baskets, we didn't do well. And, uh, and, and open, hitting open threes. And they did a great job not giving us open threes, but even the ones we had, you know, we, we didn't make a high percentage. I think we were like one for 17 in the fourth quarter. We're not going to win a game now. But, Team 46, you hope that you can find a way to win that game. They did a good job tonight. The first game you guys stressed rebounding, you came out and you out rebound them tonight. Obviously, it was going to be important again, but they came out, Layman got his, but then they had a couple other guys really step up on the boards. We stressed it, and um, probably through the uh, through the media, they found that out. <laughs> so, because I made a very big point the first time we played them that I thought the reason why we beat them is rebounding, and they clearly said tonight, we're not out in them on rebounding. So, um, you know, they're a better rebounding team, and I think the first game we kind of snuck up on them and did some things that they weren't quite ready for, and, and credit to their coaching staff and their players. They were ready for everything. Uh, and they, they said, that we're taking away the three, we're taking away transition, and we're taking away uh, the re rebounds, and they did all three, and they did it well. And uh, that's why they held us to 36 points. And, um, it was a good game plan by them. I thought they did a good job, and they executed it well. You talk about playing against like Jake, uh, who's so much taller than everybody else, who has a lot of athleticism. Do you just oh. kind of go into it saying, he's going to get his, kind of work around it. For more, I mean, it's for the most part, you have to. I mean, he's just, he's special. I mean, you know, he works hard. He's a great teammate. He's a great player. He's a great, he's a great person for that matter. And, um, you know, you just, you, you do everything you can to make him work hard. Uh, at times, you sit there and awe over what he does. You know, at times, you know, some of the plays he makes are, you know, just at a different level. And, um, you know, that's why he's going to where he is. But, um, he's, uh, he's fun to watch. And, uh, Try to, try to make it hard as, as hard as possible on him. Uh, I think he's been sick for the last two weeks. He kind of struggled today um, getting up and down. Um, and again, his teammates rallied around him. And we didn't get many easy baskets because of it. You know, he's trailing the play because he's tired and sick and winded. And we're still not getting easy baskets. It's credit to his teammates stepping up and making some plays around him. But, you know, he's just he's, he's great. You talk about bouncing back now. You guys obviously still have a chance of winning this league. We do. I mean, we got to. Uh, we have Brockton non-league, which uh, we, you know we want to go over there, and make a statement. That's an important Division One game for us, and um, it's an away game over there, so it's going to be a battle. And then um, you know, then we go back to uh, Attleboro and Franklin in the league to uh, hopefully close this out. And, you know, there's nothing better than it being in your own um, your own hands. You know, we're not looking for anyone else to lose. We don't need we don't need help from anyone. Uh, we win two, we win the league. If we don't win two, we don't. And um, you know, hopefully we can take care of Brockton and then Attleboro, and then you know, from there it's uh, the big one on Tuesday night. But you know, um, Attleboro's they could beat us. You know, if we don't show if we play a lot like we played tonight, um, Attleboro could give us a run for our money. So we gotta we gotta win that game first, and then you know, hopefully uh, be playing for the title. But you know, we gotta get back to um, playing better Hornet basketball. And, making teammates better and doing those little things.